Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew the virtual Wii in your Wii U. Your Wii U will need to be homebrewed to homebrew the virtual Wii. I have a video on homebrewing your Wii U which is linked below. You should be familiar with the Wii U homebrew launcher but here's a quick reminder on how to open it. Now let's get started. Remove the SD card from your Wii U and put it into an adapter, then plug the adapter into your computer. On your computer, open your internet browser and go to these web pages which are linked below. On this page, you can choose the colour of your homebrew launcher, or you can choose the default one which should be at the bottom of the page. This step is important because the aspect ratio in the virtual Wii homebrew launcher isn't correct. This step fixes that. Save it to your desktop, then move on to the next website which is linked below. All you have to do here is click the download button at the top right corner. Save it to your desktop, then extract the two zip files. Open this folder and move the file inside to the desktop. Open this folder and you should see these three folders. Move them to the desktop too. Drag the boot.l file to the root of your reused SD card. Drag the whatpacks folder into the apps folder which is inside the Wii U folder. Create a new folder on the root of the SD card and rename it to apps. Make sure you're typing it exactly as I am here. Make one new folder on the root of the SD card and rename it to WADS. And again, make sure you're typing it exactly as I am. Now drag the Homebrew Launcher WAD file which you downloaded earlier and place it into the WADS folder you just made. Open the Multimod Manager folder which you extracted earlier. Inside, there should be a folder named MMM. Drag the MMM folder to the apps folder on the SD card which you made earlier. And finally, drag the iOS 236 installer folder to the apps folder too. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U. Open the homebrew launcher and load the Whatpacks app. When you see this screen, press the A button. When it's finished, you'll be taken back to the home menu.
Now select the Wii menu icon from the home menu. Now that you're in the Wii menu, open up the Mii channel. You should see this message. This message can stay on screen for about 30 seconds. When you're prompted, press the 1 button on the Wii Remote. After that, you should see this screen. Press the A button to continue. On this screen, press the up arrow twice to select and install the homebrew channel, then press the A button. On this screen, press the up arrow once and select yes continue, then press A. The first part of the homebrew channel will now be installed. Press the A button when it has finished. Now press the down arrow three times to select exit, then press A. Now we have the homebrew channel in the virtual Wii, but you can see as we open the homebrew channel a second time, the aspect ratio is not correct. Let's install iOS 236 before we fix that problem. After iOS 236 is finished, open up Multi Mod Manager. When you see this screen, press the down arrow twice to select WAD Manager, then press the A button. On this screen, select the WAD folder, then press A. On this page, select the Homebrew Launcher which you downloaded earlier, then press A. When it's finished, press A. Press B twice to back through the menus, then press the home button. Now let's go back to the home menu and open up our custom homebrew launcher. The aspect ratio should now be fixed. Now that we've fixed that, there's only one thing left to do. Go back to the Wii U menu, open up the Homebrew Launcher, load what packs, and restore the Mii channel by pressing B. And that's it, you've now homebrewed the virtual Wii in your Wii U. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below. 
and I'll feature your channel in a video if your idea gets chosen.